Hello, my name is Jane Scanlon from Cherish Transform and Upgrade. Today um, I was scrolling through my news feed and a voice inside me said, Stop! What are you doing wasting time? Time is one of the most precious things we have on this planet. And right now, some of us have a lot more time at home with family and we're able to do a lot more, I don't know, within the house, within the garden, maybe those DIY projects. Um, so what am I doing scrolling? Facebook or Instagram. So it got me thinking. It is definitely a way of detaching from present life, but also from uh, to connect with friends, family, people we know, the outside world. When I have days uh, where I am not on social media very much at all just to post business things um what am i doing in my present life one i am being present um i'm enjoying the the kind of tasks the things i'm doing with my daughter the walks whatever it is i am present and also what i've noticed is if i have a plan for the day a lot of people don't like planning I do it helps me to stay focused to stay grounded and to uh, f fulfill the whole day you know um, that's not the word I'm looking for anyway it just helps me to connect with the thing that I am doing whether it's uh, I don't know, having fun with my daughter, being creative, uh, doing something in my business, doing some homeschooling, whatever it is, when I have a, a plan, a vision for the day, I am way more focused than if I wake up and I think, okay, yeah, I've got a bit of homeschooling to do, don't know what I'm going to do, my business, da, da, da. all of a sudden, it's like five o'clock, and I'm like, where's the day gone? I feel like I haven't achieved anything. Does that sound familiar to you? So today I thought we would just do a meditation to get grounded and get clear because when we're feeling unclear, we, we pretty much feel unconfident about the steps forward because we don't have a vision for it. Um, and one of the things I help clients with is how to get clear, calm and confident. And you can do that through meditation and many, many, many other tools which I teach. So, sorry, now I'm doing this like I want to sneeze. Uh, it's kind of hay fevery at the moment um, with all the blossom outside, which is absolutely beautiful. But I am feeling a little bit snivelly. So, let's take a nice deep breath. And all of a sudden, just with that one breath, it feels like silence has enveloped me. How are you breathing at the moment? Are you breathing with your shoulders, your upper chest, the upper respiratory system? Or are you using the fullness wholeness of your lungs and when we breathe fully and completely we are actually working out those lungs helping them to be stronger and more effective And when you breathe fully and completely, your stomach will swell. It will swell up as the diaphragm gets pulled down and the lungs fill up with oxygen. 
And when you exhale, your stomach contracts, the diaphragm gets pushed up and the CO2 comes out, the lungs deflate. So when we're breathing really from the stomach, using those stomach muscles, you fill the lungs, you use the diaphragm properly. And you will find that you will be able to um, feel more focused. You will calm yourself down immediately just with two or three breaths if you start doing this regularly. And if you notice when I breathe in, I hold it. And then I breathe out fully and completely and I hold it. So you can imagine you are creating a square. So four sides. You breathe in, you hold for the same length of time. You breathe out, you hold for the same length of time. And just use that as a visual to do some breath work. This will strengthen your lungs. It will increase your lung capacity. Um, and it will help you to be clear, calm, and therefore confident. So let's do that breath together. Using myself here. They're getting bored. It's definitely easier if you use it as a visual rather than trying to do the two movements at the same time, although it will help your brain function using both sides of the brain okay so that that's it today stop breathe use that technique visualize the square use your full lung capacity um, to increase lung function increase um, your ability to relax the more you do this the easier it will take to reduce your um, you know any anxiety hey Maddie thank you for watching um, so yeah do this do this with your children as well I often do this with my daughter just breathing deeply getting her to visualize the square breathing in holding breathing out holding um, it's not only it's not you know just good for your mental health it is good for your physical health um, any form of, of breath work will actually that's not true this form of breath work will reduce your um, heart rate it will calm you down and it will help you to be more focused we'll look at some other breath work um, in the following days okay Namaste. Thank you. Bye.